<laughs> and I want you to know one thing. It's been a pleasure. You just like to dance, don't you, Carl? That's right. You, know, you like to dance. <laughs> that was famous. Hello, welcome to One on One. I'm your host, Greg Walker. Mercy, I look forward to this show today. I love musicians. I love singer-songwriters. We have two on this show. We'll have two next week as well. Once again, back with us, the great Bobby Keel, singer-songwriter. He's brought along Kenny Baggett, another singer-songwriter with him today. We're going to let them play some music. We might hear some of their songs. We might hear songs from uh, other artists as well, and we'll talk to them about music, among other things. Settle back, relax, enjoy a fun, down-to-earth conversation with two friends of mine. Bobby Keel and Kenny Baggett join us on this edition of One on One. We'll be back with our guest right after these words. It's the Altima and Rogue event. At Matthews Nissan, voted Clarksville's best place to buy a car. Big savings now on 700 new and used. Get a new Altima, 16524 or new Versa, 10760 New Rogue, 18923 14 grand off a new Titan. Incredible. You're going to love our extra New Year's savings. MatthewsNissan.com. You're going to love our prices, Matthews. For a hundred years, Neil Tarpley Parchman Funeral Home has celebrated legacies with services as unique as each life. Neil Tarpley Parchman, people who care, a name you can trust. Welcome to our show today. It is, man, it's picking and grinning time. Bobby Keel. Greg. Love to have you, buddy. Me too, brother. Good to have you back. Good to see you. Kenny Bag. Hello, Greg. What a pleasure. Great to be here, man. We was just talking about Kenny. He was on the CMAs when he was 18 years old. That's something. That was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? That was a couple, three years ago. <laughs> Country Music Awards. Country yeah. Music Awards. And, and didn't even see it. That's, that's didn't a great even part. get to see it. Didn't even see. They've it. got to have a copy. Oh, of I'm it sure somewhere. they do. I'm they sure got they do. to. You were on with Stoneman's, weren't you? The Stoneman family. Yeah. Yeah. I happened to be standing beside the stage when they needed a guitar player. So. Well, they got you, buddy. <laughs> that worked out good. And you like bluegrass? I do. You know. Small doses. Yeah. Yeah. You, you sort of like it all, don't you, yeah. Kenny? Yeah. You have to, I think. Tell everybody what you do besides singing and songwriting. It's hard to make a living just being a singer-songwriter, isn't it? I am a production manager for a construction company. I've been doing that for several years now. Yeah. Only bad part is I work in Hendersonville. So, so you have to travel back and forth. Kind of everyday grind, but you know. Yeah, from where you live in town, that's probably oh, about an hour and 15, isn't it? About an hour and 15. About an hour and 15. That's what I... I don't mind it. It's kind of solitude time, almost. Yeah, I've good time to clear your head. Good time to clear your head and listen to something on the radio that don't mean anything. How long have you been playing music? Since I was five. Really? When I was about uh, seven or eight, every summer I used to uh, go on tour with some evangelist. And huh. we went all over the South every summer, uh, playing in tent revivals and auditoriums. And so I've been doing this all my life, to one extent or the other. Start out on the guitar? Start out on the guitar. You hadn't had that one long, had you? Hadn't had it long. I've had it six or eight months. I'm Boy, it's got a nice sound to it. We've been, they've been playing around here all morning. It's been so much fun. Yeah, you know, you can never have enough guitars. I mean, How many you got? Oh, I seven or eight. <laughs> I've pretty much been uh, told I don't need any more, you know, unless I swap them out. Who told you that? Okay, my wife. Uh, that's what I figured. Like, look, you're about to run out of room. That's here. what I figured. How many songs have you written over the years? 40, 50. 40, 50. Who knows? Uh, I thought we wrote that many in Oklahoma one we, week. Uh, that was one song we worked on. Oh, one song. 
had 40 or 50 verses to it. I gave Bobby a copy of a song that had about 60 verses, and it was like a wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. It already turned into a novel. I said, here, I can't quit. You've got to help me. So he did. You got know, broke it down. What did that turn into? What uh, was it? <laughs> it what it uh, introduced you to the blues. Oh, yeah. introduced you to the blues. The blues yeah. song we wrote. Bobby, how has the world treated you? Life's good for an old troubadour. You an old troubadour. Are Life you still good. nominated for the uh, Songwriters Hall of Fame? Well, it's in the pile. It, it'll be there forever, but you know, that doesn't mean you get inclusion. Let me tell you, when you're nominated for the Songwriters Hall of Fame, I don't care, country music, rock and roll, I don't care. Hey, that's an honor. It really is. It's, it's very a, humbling. I, I mean, I, I think that's a great honor for you, man. It's, it's very humbling. It really is. You know, you, you're legendary around here now with your music. Well, I, I love to share it around. You're you know. Clarksville's own, buddy. You I really play are. as often as I can. But you got that guitar sounding nice. Well, thank you. My guitar tech, Eugene Moles, in Nashville, does a wonderful job. Took care of you? Absolutely. The best. Took care of you. Highly recommend him for anybody needing guitar work. Let me tell you, before we even get started, you were a part the Old Chisholm Trail, Songs and Tales of the Old Chisholm Trail, 150-year anniversary. Man, you got some people you work with on this. This is two CDs, by the way. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. For this. I can't wait to listen to all of it. Uh, but man, some great songs. Of course, you got the song that you wrote on here, mm -hmm. uh, Another Day on the Chisholm Trail. Yes, sir. You played it for me. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Uh, we'll have you play it for the audience. Absolutely. Too. Can you join in, of course? Sure. Y'all yeah. can all join in on the course. <laughs> <laughs> on the Chisholm Trail. Yeah. On the Chisholm Trail. That's it. Why don't we just start off today? Let's hear that. And of course, we can uh, do that. Steve Sawyer, he put it on the screen, I'm sure. And, and if you'd like to uh, get a copy, yeah. you go to texanarecords.com. Right. Or you can go to CampCookieville.com, uh, and we'll put that on the screen somewhere here, Fantastic. too. But TexanaRecords.com and get a copy. Let's, Absolutely. Now this is I will say, if you don't mind, Greg. Yeah, you go back. Okay. On this project, uh, some of the greats of cowboy music is on it. Red Stegall, Don Edwards, uh, great, one of the greatest cowboy storytellers of all time. Ray Benson, Sleep at the Wheel. Michael Martin Murphy, Augie Meyer, Gary P. Nunn, and the list goes on. T. Gosney Thornton, of course, uh, K.R. Wood, and myself. And uh, it's just a really a great historical album of the uh, camp songs and the cattle drive songs. And uh, it's an anthology of 150 years of, uh, of cattle trail music. Uh, the Old Chisholm Trail was the, uh, was the first of the Four great trails. There was the Great Western Trail, and there was the uh, Good Night Loving Trail, and then there was, uh, I'm at a blank right now, the other one, but those were, actually was three of them. I was thinking of the old Santa Fe Trail, but that oh. was a crossing trail. And uh, it lasted about six or eight years replenishing all the beef in the East that had been killed during the Civil War. And there were 10 million Longhorn Roman, and they drove them out of Texas, up to the rail lines. And this is uh, my song I wrote. It's the title track of the project. Y'all did this down in Texas, didn't you? We did it in Texas, absolutely. Cut it in Austin at Parrot Head Studios, I believe is what it was. Parrot Head Studios. But anyway. Get out your spurs and your cowboy boots. Head of longhorn cattle and a twister tearing up our tails. Camp Cookie said, Forget about your supper, don't you worry about the bacon and those beans. For tonight, we got a hold 
this herd together If we're gonna make it up to Abilene On the Chisholm Trail On the Chisholm Trail Sometimes it's almost heaven Most times it's utter hell Chisholm Trail On the Chisholm Trail Another day and another life On the Chisholm Trail piece of music Bobby you did really great on that it's uh goodness 34 different cuts on these two albums the old Chisholm Trail texanarecords.com how's that doing it uh, the uh, Texas Education Department bought bookos of them thousands of them and distributed it in the schools and libraries it's uh it's underwritten by several different you know associations and mm -hmm. in association with and K.R. Wood and his Fathers of Texas series, which this is a part of about thirteen or fourteen other projects, including including the one we recorded in the Alamo in two thousand six. And uh, this is like another continuation of that on Texas history. So this uh, I don't know exactly the numbers, but it's several thousand chipped out in Texas. That's great. And uh, a lot of the down in the valley, in the part way down south Texas, where it's really poor, mm -hmm. really a very poor school district. These are distributed to the kids in school and to their libraries, not to all yeah. the kids. But it's uh, it's the label's way of making sure that everybody can get to hear it that wants to. And then, of course, the bigger school districts buy quantities of them, and and it helps recoup the cost of these projects and maybe make a dollar or two. A serious question for both of you here. The songwriters, like everybody else, do you have a favorite piece of work that you've done? Or do you, is that fair? Do you just like? You know, <laughs> I, I, let me put it this way. You, you know, it's always people use the analogy, well, it's like picking your favorite child. <laughs> That's There's right. nothing like picking your favorite child. They're all your favorite child, yeah. or they should be. Yeah. Songwriters are t tend to have to write what they have to write, and uh, you might write 40 songs and have two or three in there that you know are special. Special, 
But uh, I have to write them all and then put them in a box and make them go away. If I don't, they'll drive me crazy. Really? Yeah. If I get hooked on a song, it's like I've got to finish it. And sometimes it turns out good. Sometimes it's just uh, another song. Well, you know, I think all of them have good points now. But uh, I think you know a song like that. What you do, you put them in that box and you go back and tear the right. lines out of them and that's put right. them in another song. That's how you do it. And that's how you steal from yourself if you want to put it that way. You know, but <laughs> there's never been a song that I've written that wasn't worth writing. It I don't feel right. like. Right. I mean, I've written a lot of custom songs for certain projects, and uh, but I always endeavored to do my very best. You know, and make it make it possible. You know, like. Uh, in 84, I wrote the theme song, co-wrote the theme song to Memphis in May, the big festival they have down there, which was a project song. But, you know, we wrote the best song we could. And uh, so, you know, there's songs like that. There's, I've written a bunch of jingles, but, you know, I always write my last verse first so I can pretty much know where I'm going with the song so I can pretty much finish it pretty quickly anymore. Bobby Keel, Kenny Baggett, back after this. the Altima and Rogue event at Matthews Nissan pre-owned Superstore. Clarksville's favorite used car dealer. New Year's savings now. 14 Rogue, 16,988. 17 Altima, 229 per month. 700 new and used, no payments for 90 days. 17 Sentra, 179 per month. And all certified come with a seven year, 100,000 mile limited warranty. Hi, I'm Terry Yarbrough. Come see us at Matthews Nissan pre-owned Superstore. MatthewsNissan.com. Welcome back. Bobby Keel, Kenny Baggett joining us today. If you just tuned in, singers, songwriters, just good people, good friends. Y'all both played for the Pintos, didn't you? Yeah. We started the Pintos. That's what I thought. Sure did. Who were the original members? Kenny, myself, and Wayne Brown, who is now deceased. Yeah. But he'll live forever in our hearts. Uh, so. We uh, met at Bruni's. I, me and Bobby played the same clubs for years in town and saw one another's name, but I never met him. Really? And I was playing at Bruni's one night, sitting on a bar stool, and he came in, and uh, a week later we were sitting around picking, and he introduced me to Wayne Brown, and shit, a year later we were on the road with Mo Vandy, I yeah. mean Joe Stampley. Joe Stampley. Joe Stampley. <laughs> and heading to, heading to Willie's studio in yeah. Austin. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kenny, you're going to play us, uh, you, you're going to play us a song Bobby's going to pitch in, you've written like you said, 40 plus over the years. What are you gonna play us today? I'm gonna play a song a guy approached me about doing a, a play and what he was gonna do it on was a guy that had outlived everybody he knew. Huh. He was in his 90s and this was to close the play out, this song was. The play never happened, I wrote the song though. What's it called? Next Train Out of Here. Next Train Out of Here. to say goodbye everybody wondered why oh he just up and went away well he bought him a ticket long time ago first class for his soul and he firmed his reservation when he prayed now we're sitting here at a station what well, seemed like a long while lord you know i don't mind the way but if you want me in heaven, why must I go through hell? Is there a next train out of here, Lord? What about the next train out of here? We'll go to see the one that paid the cost when he had to tote that cross. Oh, the Bible said he stood alone. And we break our back to work this land. Uh, we stay away from shifting sand. Oh, but don't ever call it home. 
We sat here at a station What seemed like a long while Lord, you know I don't mind the way But if you want me in heaven Why must I go through hell? Is there an next train out of here, Lord? What about the next train out of here? prepared a place for me and I know it's so where there ain't no work and worry and the milk and honey flow and the streets will go oh Lord I'm gonna go but I'm sitting here at the station what seemed like a long while Lord you know I don't mind the way but if you want me in heaven why must I go through hell is there a next train out of here, Lord? What about the next train out of here? Mercy. I'm going to tell you, I love the cut. You got a dang good voice. Thank you, sir. Somebody should have picked that one up. <coughs> I like that. Thank you, sir. My God, he was yeah, a great singer. I wrote that and I thought it was going to close a play out, and then the play never happened. So I said, "Well, I'm just going to start singing it every now and then." Yeah, I don't blame you. All of y'all in the pinto sing, though, didn't you? Yes, sir. Well, I tried. They all. Kenny and Wayne were the singers. I interpreted lyrics. Ha, 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 my goodness. Yeah. Bobby Keel, Kenny Baggett, Stretch Run, right after this. It's the Altima and Rogue event at Matthews Nissan, voted Clarksville's best place to buy a car. Big savings now on 700 new and used. Get a new Altima, 16,524, or new Versa, 10,760. New Rogue, 18,923. 14 grand off a new Titan. Incredible. You're going to love our extra New Year savings. MatthewsNissan.com. You're going to love our prices. For a hundred years, Neil Tarpley Parchment Funeral Home has honored legacies. We believe every family deserves a special time of celebrating a life well lived. Neil Tarpley Parchment, people who care, a name you can trust. Stretch run, folks. I want you to know, Kenny, Bobby's going to be back next week. You know, Pleasure having you on. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you having me. Well, you're, you're so talented and got a great voice. I asked everybody that's ever been on this show, though, what's the best advice you've ever received? Well, uh, it's probably not what life handle, gives you. It's how you handle what it gives you. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. yeah. to take every day as a day. Yeah. Make the best of it. Yeah. What about you, Bobby? I have to go with what Abram Lincoln told the civilized tribes in Josie, Wales, endeavor to persevere. persevere. <laughs> you know, that is my favorite Western. Mm -hmm. It is all. mine, too. I think, uh, I think it may be the best. I right. mean, there's been some greats. I'm looking forward to seeing this hostel. I am, too. I've got a friend out. that's in that movie, Wes Studi. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, that, he's is Indian. He a yeah, I've known him yeah. for many, many years. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, let me shake your hand before you get out of here today. Thank you, Greg. I'm going to have y'all play us out today. Okay. 
But you know, Absolutely, you're going to be back. Yeah. But Kenny's got to go to work and uh, real job. Touch, touch. But y'all still play around town and oh, have yeah. fun and yeah. Absolutely. do your thing. Kenny plays uh, downtown. Well, yeah. now don't miss it. No, yeah, every, yeah. every Saturday night I've got a regular show here in town. Downtown yeah. somewhere. <laughs> well, well, I didn't I mean, mean I'm easy to find. I'm not, we're at downtown. That's fine to say that, but I'm saying I didn't want to mention dates because no, we, no, may, yeah. oh, we, oh, may, okay. we may show this show again in eight months. Yeah. Who knows? That's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know. No, I'm, I just play around town every Saturday night. I've got a regular gig. Where at? Pablo's Mexican Restaurant. Pablo's Mexican Restaurant. Six to eight every Saturday with special every guests. Saturday. It's always a blast. Always a blast. And I join him every once in a while. Sure does. Well, that's great. That's great. Now, next week, Tommy Baby Boy Crossland is going to join you in. All right. Well, so I mean, oh, that's going to be fun. That ought to be fun. All right, what are y'all going to play us out? Is this a Pinto song? It is a Pinto oh, Deluxe. Pinto's classic. Hey, tune in next week, folks. Tell your friends, neighbors, loved ones about the show. Thanks to Steve Sawyer, he makes it happen.